Hey YouTube, and hello my dear, it is Friday, and this video is going to come to you in four parts. Part one, Harry Potter. Um, in addition to being behind me, in two weeks, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two will have officially been released, and the series, for as much as we know it, with the exception of Pottermore, will be over. I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. I didn't think that I was going to be this emotional about it. I didn't think that it was going to have this impact on me. And I did not think at all that when I realized that exactly two weeks from last night, I was going to be standing in line for the midnight premiere. I did not think that I was going to get so emotional or have that tug in my heart that just made it crazy. So yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all, and I really wasn't expecting that kind of emotional response. So here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> I'll check back with you in two weeks. Part two, Paranoid Parent. I have found a new meme on Tumblr called Paranoid, pa Paranoid Parent, and uh, it reminds me a lot of my parents. And I've spent the last hour of my life going through that, and it's, it's kind of embarrassing. And wow. I really didn't think my parents were that bad, but there are so many things on on the paranoid parent meme that I'm just like, oh, my parents do that. I think my mom was watching too many Lifetime movies. Actually, she was. I outlawed that when I was like 16. I told her she wasn't allowed to watch Lifetime anymore. It was fun. All right, part three. Sleeping. Um. So twice this week, I have fallen asleep on you. And the reason that I'm so apologetic and so like crazy about it is um, I don't remember falling asleep. I wake up and I have a bunch of unanswered messages from you. And I have no recollection of falling asleep at all. So that's that's why I'm so freaked out about it and why I'm just like, oh my goodness, I really can't be letting this happen because this is this is really creepy. So yeah, that's that's why I'm so apologetic because I don't even remember going to sleep or falling asleep or whatever. And I'm going to blame it on the fact that, you know, I was re really sleep deprived last week, but uh hopefully that just stops happening cuz it's actually really kind of scary waking up and having no idea what happened in the last half hour when you were relatively alert before that. So yeah, hopefully that stops because I'm definitely not a fan. And part four. In your video yesterday, you were talking about how Google is like the dark side because they have so many cookies. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to disagree with you on the whole Google is nice and not and doesn't have ulterior motives. Yet, yeah, okay, you know, maybe maybe they're not evil per se, but I I think that they have a whole lot of power that they're just not using cuz they're waiting for the right moment. Cuz really in all honesty, if Google woke up tomorrow morning and decided that they wanted to take over the world, they'd be able to do it in like 20 minutes. That really, I, I genuinely think that they only need five, but just in case they haven't had their coffee or something, I'll give them 20 minutes. But really, like anyone who's ever accessed the internet will tell you Google could totally take over the world if they wanted to. So yeah, the, those are parts one through four for this video. And yes, pointing, pointing in videos is quite weird. Um, but now I'm going to go back to Paranoid Parents until I go to work so that I can enjoy that. And don't forget to be awesome. I'll see you on Monday.